Hey guys, this is Nora again. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a blessed week. Today's video is going to be a brief intro to music theory. Let's get started. So today I'm going to be using my computer to give you a better visual of what I'm going to talk about. So first, we're going to be talking about the grand staff or state. And it's basically a five line staff for each hand. So when we talked about the last time about the treble clef and the bass clef, um, so each one of them has its own five lines. So the treble staff basically has five lines and the bass staff has five lines. The treble clef is actually from the middle C all the way up and the bass clef is basically from middle, middle C all the way down the piano. Now here I'm going to start with middle C. And then, as you can see, the middle C stands on a short line. Now these five lines are like the main lines that each staff has. So the treble clef has five lines and these are the main lines. Now the middle C has its own extra lines. Why do we do that? For those notes who don't belong on these five lines, they cannot be floating like that in the air. We have to give them a line to stand on. So we give them those extra lines and they're usually short lines. So just like the middle C has a short line. Now since we're, both hands are sharing the middle C, when you see the middle C closer to the treble staff, that means you're gonna use your right hand to tap that middle C. And then when you see the middle C closer to the bass staff, like that, that means we're going to play with your left hand. Now we know where middle C stands. Now we can continue. So, since we have five lines, we're going to go back to the treble step and we're going to start adding notes on the lines. Now we have two types of notes. Some notes stay on the line and we call them line notes and some notes stay in spaces and we call them space notes. So we have line notes and space notes. I'm going to start with line notes on the treble staff. So the first circle goes on the first line, line number one. And I'm going to take another note and put it on the second line. I'm going to take another circle, put it on the third line. Then I have another one on the fourth line. Then one on the fifth line. Now these are the five main lines as I mentioned before. If we need to add more notes, then they're going to be on extra lines, which are the short lines. And as you can see, it changed right away. Now it's on a short line and so on. So the pattern for these line notes is going to be after middle C on the first line we have every good boy does fine. Every good boy does fine. And we're going to take the first letter of every word. So the word every. E is going to be the first line. G from good, boy, B is the third line, does, D is the fourth line, and the last line is F from five. So every, E, good, G, B, boy, does, D, fine, F. And that's how we remember. C, E, G, B, D, F. That's for the right hand, for the treble staff. Now let's go to the bass staff. Again, it starts on middle C, same thing because they're sharing the same middle C. Now we're going to go down. And remember, as I mentioned before, it's backwards. So we're going to use line notes again. We're going to start on the first line. Second line, and on the third, and on the fourth, fifth. We have 
five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now for the left hand, we have a different pattern and we call good burritos don't fall apart. So good burritos don't fall apart. G, B, D, F, A. So, and it's the same thing. Now we remember what lines these are. And then next, we're gonna go to the space notes. Now space notes are between the lines. So basically, between the first and the second line, there's a note. Between the second and the third, there's a note. And between the third and the fourth, there's a note. And last but not least, between the fourth and the fifth, there's a note. Perfect. Now, first, space notes, there's another pattern or another thing to remember, which is the word face. F-A-C-E, face. The first space note is F, the second one is A, the third one is C, and the last one is E, face. And that's for the treble staff. So let's just go over it again. We have the middle C, then line notes, every good boy does fine, space notes, Face. Now we're done with the treble staff. Let's go to the bass staff. We have good burritos don't fall apart. That's for the line notes. Now let's talk about space notes for the bass staff. We have one that goes between the first and the second, then another one goes between the second and the third, one goes between the third and the fourth, and one goes between the fourth and the fifth. These are the space notes. So like you can see, we have line notes and space notes. So, for the space notes for the left hand, we have another pattern. We can say, all cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. A, C, E, G. And that was it for the treble and the bass steps. So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.